And in terms of how widespread the adverse event reporting has been, uh, talk us through what the findings were. Yeah, so these findings are not really uh, at all surprising. We've known about these uh, side effects really since the vaccines began rolling out uh, at the end of um, 2020, early 2021. Um, we've seen um, this uh, uh, myocarditis, inflammation of the heart muscle, pericarditis, inflammation of the, the sac around the heart, um, as well as this um, unusual blood uh, clot that um, forms in the brain from um, the, the virus vector vaccine. So none of these findings are, are new. Um, but they are actually fairly reassuring um, because they didn't find anything uh, else that um, was, uh, was at all alarming, Heidi. Mm. And it did look at a few different vaccine types as well. Was there any difference across them? There was indeed. Uh, yes, they did see this increased uh, risk for uh, for the brain uh, blood clot in um, in relation to the AstraZeneca uh, viral uh, virus vector vaccine, and uh, and also we did see um, the increased risk of, of myocarditis and pericarditis um, with the mRNA vaccines. They are the ones made by Pfizer, BioNTech, and Moderna. There were some other um, interesting findings as well. Guillain-Barré syndrome um, was shown to be uh, a, a, um, an event of concern linked to um, mostly to the Oxford um, AstraZeneca uh, virus uh, vector vaccine. Um, otherwise, um, uh, everything else was, was pretty much as um, we had already uh, expected. Thanks. So, and, and we've talked about some of those pre established conditions of interest. Did they find anything uh, that was pertinent across that subsection of the study? Um, beyond those uh, 13 events that they were uh, looking for, they, they didn't see, um, they weren't looking um, specifically for um, other aspects of uh, vaccine injury that, that has been noted in, in the past, uh, postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome, that's this increased heart rate um, that has been noted um, in relation to vaccines, though um, researchers have also seen it in a higher frequency associated with SARS-CoV-2 infection. So uh, while the vaccines were known to be associated with this problem, they are actually occurring more frequently um, from an infection.